Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the bromeliad plant and as you can see it comes in all different colors and I think this plant is made more complicated than it really is so I'm going to try and tell you how to take care of it. This is how I would do it. Now if you're keeping the plant indoors the easiest way to keep this plant going is to go down underneath the leaves and water down at the root of the plant. Now a lot of people don't like to do that there is a cup inside the plant at the top um, of the root, right underneath the flower. And a lot of people will go in there and water in there. But if you're going to do that, you need to make sure the water doesn't stand for very long because if it does, it will rot the root of the plant. So I would say on a six inch pot, I would water it about a third cup of water. Skip two days and water it again the same amount. The same with an eight inch pot, I would put a half a cup of water skip two days and water it again, whether you're gonna put it in the cup or whether you're going to put it in the root of the plant. Now, this plant does like bright sunlight, but it doesn't like direct sunlight. So I would put it near a window and that way it doesn't get too hot, it doesn't get too much direct sunlight because it can burn the leaves if you do that. I would give it plant food every couple of weeks. And as far as fertilizing, everyone says the best thing to do is not to fertilize. Some people do want to go ahead and continue with fertilizing so if you decide to do that make sure you dilute it half the amount that you would give a house plant. And that is pretty much how you take care of this plant. Now this flower on here will die. It's just what it does and once the flower dies the mother will produce pups or babies and when she does that the mother is going to begin to die on this plant. And when the babies get to be about a third to half the size of the mother plant, you're going to want to remove the babies and repot them. When you repot the mother, you need to see what condition is in at that point. If it still looks good, then just go ahead and keep her. She may produce more pups, but she will not produce another flower. They flower one time in a lifetime, and that is it. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, please link them below. And thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.